Okay, so now we're outside and we're gonna go over just a couple of quick things to show you. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is go over the couple of accessories they gave real quick. This is the umbrella holder, pops right into the side here. They do do an extender as well, so that tells me that this may not be big enough. The other thing is the drink holder. Easy clip on here and it just goes right to the side and just clips on, there you go. Now this clip, they give you a clip, this is all comes with the package. So this is used for, it says towel or keys or something like that, uh, goes on this clip on the other side. Boom, it's on. Uh, and then we have the cell phone holder and we open this little gadget right here and then we just pop it on like so. Uh, it does not get in the way of the screen. So the screen here is showing us some information. It's got my uh, battery level on the remote control. It's got my battery level on the overall battery for this. You know, they do give you a owner's manual as well. Nice little packet to keep cords, charging cords, battery cables, that kind of thing. One thing to note, very important, if this thing goes underwater, gets submerged in any way, they tell you do not use the battery. You basically do not take it apart, do not attempt to dry it, don't do anything with it. You're supposed to call the company immediately. Let's get into the disassembly and there's a really cool feature on this thing. On the bag strap here, it's kind of a cool strap. If, you, if we zoom in a little bit here, it's got a clip right here. And all you're gonna do is clip that on like this and you can pull it tight depending on your bag, so it doesn't have to fit perfect every time. And then we come in when we're done, we just unclip it like that. There's another bottom strap down here to take care of the bottom of your bag. I don't think it's really uh, adjustable. You don't really need to. And we take the bag off like so. Just a couple of quick steps on here. There is a lever right here. All we're gonna do is unclip that. That takes that down. And then we take the other clip right here. So it's basically two little levers, one and two. Folds down nice and neat. Uh, if we're gonna take the battery off, we can do that as well. Boom, just like that. So the, the back wheel, that the stability wheel, two things. I just stumbled across the extension. So this does extend out. The, the longer setting there is gonna keep it more stable from, from falling over. So we're gonna fold that in and we're gonna fold the back wheel in completely. There's a little lever there. Boom, that folds under. Now the coolest thing that I, I found uh, on this was the wheels. There is a button right here that you'll see. If you were to be on the golf course, and let's say the battery died on this thing, which definitely could happen, and that you need to disengage the, the wheels. If you were to try and push this thing uh, without using the remote, it's a little bit tough. So there's two settings on the wheels. So there is a setting where you can just push this button, the first click, the wheels go freely. So you could turn this into a push cart um, just by clicking uh, the wheels. And then if you go a little bit further, that's the setting for the electric part. You see how much tougher it is to turn this wheel. So if I had a problem on the golf course, I could take this unit, turn it to the sideways, and now the wheels turn freely and it becomes a, uh, just a push cart that's super, super light. Now when you're putting it away, this is really cool. You just take the wheels off, invert them, go the other way with it, push the button, put the wheel back on, do the same thing on the other side, invert the wheel all the way in. And now look how much room that is saved. Look, what, look at the profile of that cart now, super, super slim. Again, if you're doing this on a regular basis, these, gra these wheels would be full of grass, maybe some mud. If you didn't get a chance to wash them, go ahead and put your wheel covers on keep your car from getting all dirty. And then let's see how light it is. Super light. I've got a bad back, I have no problem throwing this in the car. So it folds up very, very compact. You can see that I could definitely fit my clubs. And I've got a big staff bag here. Easily fits in the back of my Explorer. Another good idea, if you have the ability, so you could take the charger, for the battery and you can keep it plugged in in the back of your car. You might need an invert a converter uh, to charge it correctly, but you never have to come home, take it out, charge things, that kind of thing. Same thing with the remote. Pops out really easy. So we're gonna take it on the golf course. We're gonna play some golf. 
I'm gonna chase it around a little bit, see how distracting it is for my game or not, and see how I feel, and uh, we're gonna go from there. We'll see you in the next segment. Okay, so here we are. We are ready for the field test. The LCD screen on here is showing full battery power, full remote power. I've got my remote right there, and we've got the up, down, right, left, stop, and lock and unlock. Lock and un unlock is just for, you know, if you don't want it moving anywhere, if you go into the clubhouse or something and you don't want to sit on your remote and let it go driving when you're not even around, you would lock it and then you come back and unlock it. We're gonna go up hills and down hills. We're gonna see how far away this remote works. I'm thinking 30 or 40 yards is about the standard. Let's get going. The traditional push cart is just gonna start flying and you're gonna have to start chasing after it. So let's see how good this does on a downhill because it's almost just as important as the uphill. And I've got it on one. It broke, it hit the brakes pretty quickly. It's going real slow. It's going really nice and slow. We can have this way out in front of us. We can have this just alongside of us or just barely in front of us. Here's our first big hill. Let's see if this thing tips at all. So if it decides to tip, that back wheel should engage. No problem so far. There's a little hill there. Nothing didn't even tip back on that back wheel. This is really nice to, to uh, walk and not have anything, no, no riding. It's kind of, feel, it already feels like it's slowing the game down a little bit. The thing I did notice right off the bat was that I use a magnetic range finder. And typically when I'm in the golf cart, I would put it on the post of my golf cart. But on this unit, it is not magnetic. I would say that'd be a, a minor, very minor strike against the unit, but so far so good. So let me keep hitting some shots. And off we go, grab the remote. The one thing that I was questioning was how it would be holding a remote the whole time while I'm playing golf. Is it worth it, is it not? You know, a true caddy, you give them the club, you don't have to worry about anything except for focusing on your next shot. But I've got a remote in my hand, I'm constantly pushing the button. So it's different, it's very different. If I had a push cart or carrying my clubs, you know, you, a little bit different story, but you know, with a bad back, pushing a cart, not an option. Carrying my clubs, not an option. So, so far this feels very, very freeing. You know, I'm not carrying anything, I'm not sitting in anything. And so we're gonna go up here next to the green. There's another steep hill right here. So we got a little bit of a pitch and run shot here. Here's the first distance test that we're gonna do. So my caddy right now, I'm gonna go ahead and send him off, off and running. A Little bit of a risk here, but it's straightaway fairway. I wanna see how far it's gonna go before I lose contact with it and what happens. So right now he's at about 50 yards. Right now it's about 70 yards out. Right now, now we're at about 100 yards. We're probably at 120 yards now. Still going right, still going left, holy smokes. I thought it was gonna be 30 or 40. That has gotta be about 150 yards. That's at least 160 yards, probably 70, right? Turning it left, look at that thing. That's crazy. That is probably 180 yards out there, I think, is still responding. I'm gonna stop there so it doesn't go into that pond up front, but that is a crazy, now I'm gonna hit stop, and it stopped. That is a crazy amount of distance. I've never heard of a cart, a remote cart going that far. Here's the first uh, thing that I'm probably not gonna push too far. We've got a bridge here and it's got a big lip on it. I'm gonna be careful and you can always have your hands on it if it, if it gets too, if you think the incline is too much. Um, so we'll go ahead and help, her, help him out a little bit there. And there we go. Bridges, gotta be careful on this thing. A little secret that the company told me is their next model out, which is coming up just in a few short weeks, I believe. And I'm gonna do one of the first videos on it. Instead of the cart being out front, it's gonna be following me. And it's supposed to have all kinds of technology in it that's gonna be where it won't go into bunkers, it won't go into uh, water, those types of things. And I'm super excited to test this thing out, but that would be a huge difference in this being out in front of me or following me like a true caddy, but price point is gonna be 20, 30% higher than this unit here. We've got a very significant hill here, but let's see how much this can take. This is a huge hill, huge hill. So far, so good. And I'll let you know when the front wheel comes off, 
Front wheel's off the ground. Front wheel is completely off the ground. Still going, still going, still going. Holy cow, look at that. Popping the wheelie and made it up that entire hill. But let's go back the other way. Now we're gonna go downhill. I don't know if you can see this hill in this picture or not. Will she go slow or is she gonna take off on me? Doing good. I can even slow her down a little bit more. Perfect. No wobbling, no taking off. So it definitely has a speed control mechanism in there somewhere that won't let it really get away from you. So let's go ahead and hit another shot. One of the other things, you know, I'm used to on my golf cart, depending on the course you're playing on, we, we use sand bottles here at my club. I don't have a sand bottle holder. I know that is an optional and accessory and uh, I don't have one. That would be something that else that you'd have to purchase if you're pl playing at a country club that uses, or even a public course that uses sand bottles versus replacing divots. Let's see if we can knock this sucker in. Hey, look at that. Easy peasy. Off we go. So we're gonna move forward here. I'm gonna play the rest of my holes, get this full round of golf in. Let's see if we can outrun this sucker. You can do the speed, you can control two ways. So you can keep tapping on the button or you can hold it down to go faster or slower. You can go either way with it. All right, so we're gonna play the rest of the holes. We'll come back with the end with the full wrap up. I am fresh off my first round of golf with the uh, MGI uh, Zip Navigator. First impressions, really freaking cool. Um, super lightweight, very responsive, and it was getting the uh, control, um, the signal from the remote, literally at least 100 yards. I was blown away with how far away this remote works. Hey, real quick, before we finish up this video, a couple of things to note. We are so impressed with the MGI Zip Navigator that we have decided to partner with them. Golfintel.store is where you can get the best price on the internet. Just reach out to me directly at brian at golfintel.com and we will get you the best price anywhere if you are interested in this unit. Also, make sure that you hit the thumbs up if you'd like this review and like this video. Feel free to comment on things that you liked or didn't like, and uh, also subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification so that you're notified when we come out with our next videos. So if you have any suggestions on things you'd like to see reviewed, feel free to put that in the comments as well. So I hope you liked this. This was a lot of stuff and uh, hope you play better golf because of it. And we will see you in the next video. See ya.